edition of Professional Wrestling. Matt Topolsky alongside Brad Gilmore for the reality of wrestling. And here tonight, Brad, a lot to unpack. We're going to start with Brian Keith taking on Aiden Cristiano in our main event. Aiden Cristiano not in a very great mood since losing that television championship. We saw him pacing the hallways earlier here today. Big opportunity, though, for Brian Keith if he can get a W in this main event. Oh, absolutely. And we've seen Brian Keith recently in a championship picture, you know, going after that reality wrestling Texas championship. Now he's facing another former champion and Aiden Cristiano. But if I'm Aiden Cristiano, of course I'm mad. Of course I'm upset. And I'm thinking, why am I not getting my, my, my rematch right this second? I want it now. Instead, I have to go against Brian Keith. But here's the thing. If... Aiden Cristiano lets that frustration set in. The Lone Ranger of the row, the cowboy Brian Keith, is going to capitalize on that. And you've said it for the last few weeks here on the show. Momentum. It's all about momentum. And Brian Keith beating a former television champion and a former reality wrestling champion, that's momentum. Well, also here tonight, Will All Day Lockhart has a big decision on his plate. And from what I understand, Brad Gilmore, the new reality of wrestling television champion, Brendan Steen, has brought his attorney here tonight. Will Lockhart has a big decision to make about his future here at the Reality of Wrestling if he wants to continue to pursue that TV title. Yeah, and you know, Brendan Steen, we don't know exactly all the details of the contract, but we know we're going to see a contract signing here this evening. And Booker T told Brendan Steen, you can put whatever you want in that contract. And I'm, if I'm Brendan Steen, I'm sure that he's put something that's going to favor him very greatly. Absolutely. Well, to start off the action this week on the row, Abel Andrew Jackson has to answer for the sins of his client. We take it up to the ring. Following contest is going to four on one ball. Introducing first from Washington, D.C., weighing in at 240 pounds, Abel Andrew Jackson. Well, Abel Andrew Jackson returns to in-ring action for the first time in months. Not his idea. As we roll the clock back, it was Booker T who ordered this. After Abel Andrew Jackson said that his client, the Samoan Werewolf, had been suspended indefinitely. Booker T set the record straight on that. And here tonight, Double AJ back in action, and he will have to face a competitor of Booker T. And his music. opponent from New Orleans, Louisiana, weighing in at 265 pounds. competitor in his own right. He's held gold here in Reality of Wrestling before he was the television champion. But Edge Stone, what a massive individual. I think Aiden, I mean, excuse me, I think Abel needs to use his veteran instincts against this guy, but oh, my! I think he just got the uh, veteran instincts slammed out of him. Abel Andrew Jackson is no small man. But next to Edge Stone, he almost looks like Isaac Bouillon. I just can't get over this guy. Wow. Oh, well, hold on now, waist lock. What can he do for me, Matt? But he's got to get he's got to get his head together. You know, Edge Stone. 
Hey, Matt Topolsky, we have some special guests right now at ringside. Some of the students from right here at the World Gym Arena Reality Wrestling Training Center. They're joining us to watch the row here live. Abel Andrew Jackson wishing we were in Japan right now and it was a 20 count. Well, this is not the world bodybuilding competition, Abel. That doesn't oh, there we go. Anymore. Abel Andrew Jackson, though, now getting some offense on Edge Stone. Well, it was short-lived. Yeah, I have a oh. feeling that Edge Stone has a higher pain threshold than most. And he just picks up Abel Andrew Jackson and tosses him across the ring like a rag doll. Oh! Whoa! Well, somebody needs to call the National Transportation wow. Safety Administration because Abel Andrew Jackson's going to need an airbag if that happens again. God in heaven! What a lariat! If I'm Abel Andrew Jackson, I'll take a count out, a count out here. Leave. Leave while you still have all four oh, of your look limbs. Out! Good heavens. And I have to believe, Matt, oh. That Edge Stone could win this match at any moment that he wanted to. But Abel Andrew Jackson, though, is now getting some offense on him. And maybe showing off your strength a little bit if your Edge Stone was not a poor choice now. Well, and you, you gotta believe that Booker T is backstage somewhere watching this matchup on a monitor to see what his newest talent acquisition does here tonight. There could be some big opportunities in the future for Edge Stone if he takes care of business on Abel Andrew Jackson. Abdominal stretch here, trying to stretch the big man out. Look at that, and look, oh! Edge Stone just throws him over. Abdominal stretch was not enough for the big man. Oh! No, that big boot. God, if there are any teeth left, we'll find out here in a second. Somehow, Abel Andrew Jackson. This it has to be muscle memory kicking out there. Was it a kick out or was it a twitch? It might have been a muscle spasm, I think you're right. Abel Andrew Jackson still in this match. Oh wait, there's a nice drop kick to the knee, getting the big man down to one. Abel knee right there to the side of the head. DDT, Abel Andrew Jackson battling back here, Brad. Hooks that tree trunk of a leg. Kicks out at barely two. Abel valiantly fighting back trying to fend off the offensive attack here from Edge Stone in his Reality of Wrestling debut. Now he's got that choke hold locked in. If he can cut off circulation of the brain, the big man won't have any oxygen to his muscles and can't fight any longer. And it looks like he's fading just slightly, Matt Topolsky. Andrew Jackson forced to face the consequences due to the sins of his client here tonight. And right now he's hanging on for dear life on the back of Edge Stone. Big man able to break that up. Oh! to be all one. How is Abel Andrew Jackson doing this? Credit to Abel Andrew Jackson for fighting the good fight and staying in this matchup against an opponent that looks to have a foot height advantage and a 50 or 60 pound weight advantage on it. Oh, easily. Easily. Wait a minute. Abel, Abel there unintentionally brushing the official here a little bit. Oh, wait a minute! Low blow! Low blow from Double AJ! Wait a second here! Into a swing vote! Abel capitalized on that opportunity! One, two, Abel Andrew Stand Jackson up for steals greatness. the victory! Stand up for greatness, Matt Tobolsky! He did the impossible! Jackson. He did the impossible! He just beat a bit, man bigger than him, stronger than him, and a man that should have won. Well, let's go back and take a look at the low. 
Ladies and gentlemen, this is Nancy Perez, and I'm here backstage with Brian Keith. Now, Brian, tonight you go head-to-head -head with Aiden Cristiano in the main event. How do you feel knowing that Gina will be watching close by? Nancy, honestly, tonight I can't be worried about Gino. Tonight, I face Aiden Cristiano. He just lost his television championship, and if you know him like I know him, he's angry. And he's looking to make an example out of someone. But not tonight, Aiden. Not on the bounty hunter Brian Keith. I ain't scared, Aiden. Not today. Not any day. So you better cowboy up. Because the bounty hunter is ready to go. Hey, yeah, doggy! Brad, we'll find out here momentarily. It might not be a deal that All Day wants to make. We're going to have to find out exactly what Brendan Steen, the new reality wrestling television champion, has up his sleeve. He won that championship at the Deep Impact Show. And making his way to the ring, he is the reality of wrestling television champion, Brendan Steen. If Will All Day Lockhart agrees to it, he should smile more. Here we are again, Brendan Steen and Will All Day. And tonight is all about the road to summer champions. And I hear you want a shot at my title at that event, don't you? I talked with Book, he told me, I gotta give you a chance. And I'm gonna give you a chance here tonight, but it's gonna be under my rules. Oh, yeah? And the rules are this. If you lose here tonight in a non-title matchup, you're never gonna get a shot at my TV title. Nor will you ever get a shot at the Texas Championship or the Reality of Wrestling Championship. So if you lose here tonight, you might as well consider yourself done here at the row. Wow. Those are heavy stakes, Matt Topolsky. You people shut up when the champ is talking. Well, this is one time when I have to disagree with the Row Nation. This is not a good decision. I want you to think long and hard before you sign your name on the dotted line. If Will Lockhart signs that contract and he does not defeat Brendan Steen, he can pretty much kiss all of his career aspirations here at the Reality of Wrestling goodbye. Well, you're right, Matt Topolsky. Brendan Steen has all the cards in his deck, all the cards in his hand, and I've seen if Will all day Lockhart's going to sign. Matt, I agree with you. This is not a good idea. No championship shot ever again. And what is he going to do? Signed it, Matt. Well, it's official. We're gonna see them go one on one next week here on Reality of Wrestling. We may not have to wait until next week. The rivalry that continues to boil over between these two. And now, so much is at stake for all day Will Lockhart, including the future of his career. Brendan.
Jason Steen box. All day, Will Lockhart into a corner, and I am afraid he may have taken the bait. Next week, here on the road, it's Brendan Steen versus All Day Will Lockhart. And if All Day doesn't win, he can kiss it all goodbye. Ashley Bull backstage here with the reality of wrestling champion, the Bear, Ryan Davidson. Now, Ryan, you walked out of Deep Impact, still the reality of wrestling champion. And again, with your match with Q, still the champion. But the announcement's been made by Booker that you will now be facing Q again in a two out of three falls match. What are your thoughts? <laughs> My thoughts are is that it's extremely hilarious to me, Booker, that with all this knowledge, all this wrestling intelligence, the fact that you've wrestled everyone in the history of this business and have accomplished so much that you obviously still have not accomplished the fact that Ryan Davidson is your best talent that has ever walked through this building, here at this building, and one day leave this building. I am the champion of champions, first ever Grand Slam champion, the first person in history to do so, and yet you keep throwing the mysterious cue to me to be chewed up and spit out in a book. I don't know what you're thinking, man. You know, maybe you have some kind of a dire plan, and yet here I am just being a good soldier, lacing up my boots and giving matches of the night every single time Reality of Wrestling goes ahead and rolls their cameras. It's great, and it's fun, but it's getting a little old, book. I'm here for what's new. I'm here for what's fresh. I'm here to captivate the audience of 2019, and I've been doing that tenfold. And now I face the mysterious cue. Not once, but for a two out of three falls match. Q, look, man, nothing personal. I think the world of you, you're one of the most talented wrestlers that's ever came into this locker room, but you're just not as talented as me. So let's go ahead and let's do the dance. You lose, I win, history rolls on. Answer the call or get mauled. An accident in the 21st century presents an entirely new set of challenges. From self-driving cars to failures in new safety technology, if you've been injured in a car accident, you need a 21st century lawyer. After all, you have to make your case here before you can win it here. Injured? Choose the smart lawyer. Call Walker, Texas Lawyer now and download the Walker, Texas Lawyer app. Welcome back to The Row, Brad Gilmore and Matt Topolsky. And again, a reminder to everybody at home, we are just three weeks away from Summer of Champions 6, an event which has redefined the history of this company. And if you want to order that pay-per-view, and it will be a very special night indeed, go to realityofwrestling.com. You don't want to miss out on that star-studded occasion. Well, Brad Gilmore, up next, the bounty hunter Brian Keith, one of the finest athletes in reality of wrestling history. But really, it's been sort of a seesaw journey for him in this last, let's say, year, year and a half, even two years for that matter. Yeah. He needs to start stringing a couple of wins together. We talked about momentum earlier here tonight. Aiden Cristiano coming off of losing that television championship. You know he's got to be mad as hell. You know he's going to be laser focused. What does Brian Keith have to do to get over the hump here tonight? Well, Brian Keith's going to have to bring his best game that he's ever brought because what we know about Aiden Cristiano is this is a championship contender at any time now. He's a reality wrestling television champion, former former reality wrestling champion, former tag team champion. He is one of the top guys that we have here in reality wrestling. But you talked about him being frustrated and going to be laser focused. I don't know. Is he going to be laser focused or is he going to be so upset about what happened to him when he lost that television championship that he's not focused on Brian Keith? If Brian senses any of that frustration, I would try to capitalize on it and once again use that momentum to get the victory. And I have a feeling that the numbers game may come into play because La Familia certainly is in the building here tonight and they didn't buy a ticket in the front row. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's your main event. It's Brian Keith versus Aiden Cristiano. And it's right now. Representing La Familia, weighing in at 215 pounds, Aiden Cristiano. Well, we speculated at the top of the show about what mood, what mental attitude, if you will, 
Cristiano would be in here tonight with a frame of mind and uh, no Reyna, no Max Alberto, no La Familia. He doesn't seem to be in the best mood at all, not at all. And I don't know if this is the type of frame of mind, rather, you should be in. You're going to be in action. And his opponent from Greenpoint, Texas, weighing in at 220 pounds, Brian Beach. Talk about frame of mind. The Cruiserweight Cowboys certainly seem to be in the right frame of mind for this matchup here tonight. When that bell rings, he'll have to be dialed in, but right now he's all kinetic energy. Ryan King looking to add one to the W column before Summer of Champions. Aiden Cristiano looking to take out his aggression, his frustrations on someone after losing that television championship. Ryan King, though, Matt Tulski, the center game of these last few shows a bit momentum. And what a momentum builder it would be if he could come in here and defeat Aiden Cristiano. And I think it's the mindset that Aiden Cristiano finds himself in here this evening. This is a great chance for the Lone Ranger of the world. Well, it's always been that edge that Aiden Cristiano brings to the match because he's so cerebral, he's so deliberate. Here tonight. Wait a second. Hold on. That's Gino. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the commentary table. Well, Gino's Gino. Gino. Well, how the hell did the ring announcer know he was coming to the commentating table? And we did. What did he pass her a note? He probably passed it to her, and then he ripped it up. Absolutely, but well, here comes Gino. To no avail. Here comes the former reality wrestling champion, Gino. Well, Great this to is have a you surprise. here. Take a seat, champ. He doesn't like you, Matt Spolsky, but that doesn't surprise me. Here, there you go, champ. Well, Gino, what, what brings you out here? Uh, I just want to scout Brian Keaton, you know. I've been competing with him for the past couple of weeks. So I want to see what he has with uh, my fellow partner over here, Aiden Cristiano. Well, here we go. I mean, we've seen, oh, wait. Aiden Cristiano off to an early start, well, Matt. this is an interesting development here, and, and I certainly, oh, Ryan Keith sent to the outside here. Yeah. We'll get into it here in just a minute right now. I mean, this is a, oh, God. Oh, whoa. It's a you physical see that? affair. That's a, that's a vet right there, man. That's a vet right there in Aiden Cristiano, man. You guys think that Brian Keith oh. has what it takes to do that? Huh? Uh, I got to be honest with you. Aiden Cristiano has been on one of the great runs we've seen in reality wrestling. And Matt, I mean, we talked about him being pissed off about losing that television championship. And it looks like he's using that for fuel right now. Well, absolutely. Look at that. Suplex. I mean, just a flurry of offense here. Physically oh. taxing oh, yeah. on the Cruiserweight Cowboy early on as Aiden Cristiano is just piling on the punishment here. What velocity sent it to the corner. Gino, yeah. You know, obviously you like what you're seeing. What, what's your beef here with Brian Keith? You see, my, my problem with Brian Keith here is that I think he's got a complacent, man. He's got a very complacent. You know, he had two, three kids, four, five kids. I don't care how many kids he's had. And what happens? He gets lazy. That's what happens, man. That's my problem with Brian Keith, man. I think he can get in that ring and say he's a better wrestler than I am. He can't do it. Well, Gino, I've got to ask you, and this is a question that's been on the minds of, of I think, everyone in the Row Nation. Right after this pin attempt here, cover two, this may be it. What has happened? What has changed with your demeanor? You're like a completely different person than you were months ago here at the Reality of Wrestling. You've turned your back on all these fans that supported you through all of your title runs. Hey, the name is irrelevant. I just care about him. Whatever your name is. I never changed. These people are changing, man. I come out here and give them the best performance that I can. And what they do, they boo me, man. They bring signs here. They, they think I'm a joke. I'm a three-time reality wrestling champion, and they think I'm a joke. You think I got a problem? The problem is them out there, man. The problem is them. The problem is Brian Key. Well, there you go. They're straight from the former champion himself. Yeah. Wow, look at that. Mike Keith trying to fire back here. Aiden Cristiano again. 
in fifth gear right now. He's been in fifth gear since this match started. And Brian Keith trying to take advantage of that here Come at the on, moment. David. Brian Keith, you could tell it. Cristiano's already put a beating on him early on, clutching his low back. Well, Gino, we've got to ask you, I mean, what is your relationship here with Aiden Cristiano? I mean, we know the, the deal that you made with him some months ago, but I mean, are you two working closely together behind the scenes? It's all business, man. That's all you need to know, man. Eric Cristiano, he's part of a familia, man. You can say, for us, it's business. It's trabajo. Oh! Now Brian Keith again, Matt, cl clutching on that low back. Trying to get back into this thing. Oh! That'll help you. Shot to the side of the head here. Brian Keith looking for a W here tonight. Kick out at two. telegraphing it here, stalking Aiden Cristiano. The momentum in this matchup has certainly changed from the first three or four minutes in which Aiden was all over Brian Keith. That's underneath. Oh, look at that. West. Nice they crucifix have, they there. It. There you go. Great knee there. Looking for that side effect, and he got it. He got all of it. Come on. Hooks the leg. Center of the ring. Close there. You see, Andy Cristiano what got what he's take, man. He has it. He said, how many times has he won that reality wrestling champion? He's been a multiple time champion here at Reality Wrestling. How many times has Brian Key won that reality wrestling champion? He has yet to win that time. Exactly. Maddie makes great points. Well, the time that Andy Cristiano won that title, he defeated you, Gino. That was when the two of you were at odds with each other. Are you still talking, man? I'm just here to talk to Brad. Okay? There we go. Oh, run out, Danny T out of nowhere. Oh, oh man. If you were looking to scout something, there's a front row seat to a rodeo, DDT. Looking for the cover here. One. Oh, come on. Wait, oh, wait just wait, a wait, second wait. here. Here comes La Familia. And when the other shoe drops, the numbers game goes to work. Well, Matt Zapolsky, we you even made mention that no La Familia at ringside, but they were just waiting in the wings for the perfect moment. And now they're putting a beating on Brian Keith. Well, Brian Keith. Just a minute! 